Yeah, I know I promised last time, or I, I don't know if I promised. I said something about us playing the exact same deck again, except with 250 cards in it. That is the Verdant Rejuvenation deck. Seek X creature enchantment and or planeswalk card where X is the highest mana value among creatures you control and put those cards on the battlefield. Of course, this was pretty easy to do. Play this card when we played with 60 cards. It's very easy to find the Verdant Rejuvenation every time. With 250 cards, we can get much more things onto the battlefield than we could last time because we kind of ran out of cards last time we did this. Uh, now we're not gonna do that, but it's gonna be a much more difficult to find re the Verdant Rejuvenation. So of course we have all the reanimation spells. I'm not gonna go through every card in this deck. We have all the reanimation spells, all the draw discard, all the big creatures. But then, of course, we're adding in all the tutors, <laughs> so they can actually find the Bungie Rejuvenation. That's why we only have three, by the way, because we have one in the sideboard for our Fey of Wishes. We have Demonic Bargain, since we have so many cards anyways, it doesn't really matter. We can just search with this. We have Grim Tutor, we have uh, Gra Gravebreaker Lamia, because actually sometimes you guys put this thing in the graveyard and like reanimate it with Scholar of the Lost Trove, for instance. Uh, Mastermind's Acquisition. I think that's pretty much every tutor that we have in the deck also. <laughs> so let's try this out! Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's see if the servers can handle this deck. I'm not so sure. We'll see. We'll also see how this mana base is gonna work out. I think the audio is... I, uh, no, 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 it's not this, I think it's the wi- ah, look at this. That's perfect, right? Now it's perfect. Uh, let's see, we need blue and black. I mean, I'm kind of impressed that we actually even had <laughs> even remotely the colors that we need. Oh! Oh, Schnoos, maybe we just go for playing the Verdant Sans Avatar. Is that weird? <laughs> just play this guy. Could do that. Okay, um. Might as well put this down. Oh, we can cycle this. That's amazing, by the way. We have cycling lands. Frack! We have a lot of cycling lands, though, so it's fine. It's not a problem. Okay. Luckily, our opponent is doing absolute nothing right now. Uh, I think rather than cycling, though, we kind of want the masterminds. Let's see, we can reanimate, we just don't have any way of discarding. Uh, is it weird to search for a discard spell with this? We kind of need the big green spell also, so probably should go for that, actually, and pick that up. And we should probably have gone and searched in the deck, that would have been smarter. I didn't do that, but I realized that now that that would have been just smarter than what I did there, but okay. Okay. Lawnmower tribes. Mm hmm. Okay. On those inversion, that might be useful at some point. I think at this point, just go straight for the second part. Or are we? Because we can't discard. <laughs> uh, we'll just go straight for the first part and look at his hand. Oh, that's a lot of scary things. Okay, Muldrotha, Rith. Dragons of War at the beginning of end step if a creature or planeswalker opponent control was dealt excess damage. Okay. Uh, Muldrotha has placed things from his graveyard. That's kind of scary. Let's take that away. That's kind of scary. Can he even. Oh, now he can play them because he has the world tree. Okay, good. And he has Rith. So now he just needs to deal excess damage to us. Okay, and this guy. And one more creature you control deals combat damage a player, create two trash tokens, sacrifice X treasures, target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn. Uh, okay. <laughs> it loaded the deck. Great. Maybe I should have one board wipe in the deck that I can search for. Ah, the things you realize after the fact, huh? Mm. So, we need some way of. <sighs> we need a lot of things. We need ways of draw discarding. We need. Uh, that's a little land, so. Draw this card. What's the best thing we can draw this card with this turn? It's probably, actually, Teferi, isn't it? Ah, uh, we'll play this guy. So then we can face out this guy, even, during his turn. I think, yeah. Put down you. Draw this card. Get the burden there. And we all we need to pay for the ward, so we're gonna we're gonna pass turn. Yeah, we should definitely have <clears throat> like one board wipe which isn't on those inversion, but on the other hand, we can like almost play it next turn. Okay? Gold vein pick. And then going to equip this on Rith Liberated Primeval. But I could now face that out, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I can face it out later. 
And that's gonna be better, I think. And I'll see what it goes for. Mm, that goes for the fairy, that goes face. And that goes for the fairy. Okay. Okay, that goes face. And maybe, actually, we just draw this card. Because facing out doesn't seem like it does much, except we take six less damage. I think I'd rather just draw this card. Uh, Elish Norn. Let's see, we gotta get that guy to our hand, so maybe Rasaketh? Right? Because then we- no, we need to sacrifice another creature to do that. Okay, so Elish Norn is probably the best one, unfortunately. And then we cycle this. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're down a little bit low. But I think we can stabilize, but definitely need a board wipe in, in the deck, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Now we get... Oh, we get the Kiss Moldrotha. We play land cards and cast permanent spells that share a permanent type from your graveyard. Or Elish Nurn. It only gets rid of one thing, though. Which isn't the best, but maybe it's good enough. I don't know. It is something. Uh, you can put down this. Can actually not do that much. We are almost dead in the air, but we're not dead. So we put down you. Oh, yeah, yeah, also we gained seven life from this. My god. My god, it is amazing, okay? Mm, up to 16. <laughs> we have all those immersion to probably stay alive here. We just need a couple of spells here. Do a couple of things, and then we can do. Okay. Bootlegger stash. He's playing. Is he playing the same deck as we are? Kind of feels like it, okay? There's a treasure. There's a lot of treasures now. A lot of treasures. Goes in for six. Nothing has to reach here. So we can't get to him. Uh, not a spark double would be amazing, wouldn't it? Ooh, oh, this is actually kind of good though. Because now we're gonna gain eight life points, right, from this. That is kind of amazing. Put down this. Next time we can own those immersion if we want to. I can go for a little bit of damage, actually. A little bit of damage. He has this thing, which does not flash. Alright. Walks there. Takes four. Now he needs a sacrifice, so this dragon here goes away, surely. Mm. And we can reanimate... Nothing. Can this return planeswalkers? Uh, return our creature. No, no. From your graveyard. Okay, no. No. It only threatens him a little bit with what we're doing here. But... Okay, the world tree. This is really scary. How many permanents does he have? Oh! That's all he had though! That's a little bit sad. I really thought you'd have more gods in the deck, okay. I thought he would like <laughs> slamming 100 cards in it. <laughs> Nope, it didn't. Okay. Crash token. That's Fenoin. Oh, okay. Now we get this. Now we get to play the Verdant. Okay, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Verdant, please. Yes. Yes. Very much this one right now. Uh, select an object and copy. Let's see here. Do we have another Verdant in the grave or we don't? So we probably want this guy. And we're gonna name creature. Okay, that's gonna be HP, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, we also we need to start for basic planes here. <laughs> I love everything. Mm, this a hand. Stow away, priest. Oh, wait. We don't have anything to reanimate, but. Can I reanimate Yorion? And, uh, I mean, he's gonna be shocked by us. Uh, playing. Uh, we can, is it all the creatures? Ah, not that permanent, okay. Then, uh, maybe that could be, maybe that could be a thing. Suspicious story definitely coming down earlier. Man, this thing is a powerhouse. A powerhouse, a house of power. Gabby, though. Tazim, Royal Mage. You must kick your turn instant social card from the graveyard, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, come on, smack it. Roll this card. Nice, okay. Uh, well, the Unburned Rites in the Graveyard is pretty good, so I guess we'll do that. 
and we still just need to dig a little bit so i think we play the modern age all right draw this card uh, i mean worst case we'll use the rise of dark realms worst case best case we'll use this I have a lot of things in the graveyard right to the dark realms ace of the lambs crazy all right tasim royal mage okay um it was kicked return. I don't see much potential for this card. I'm gonna be. I'm a little bit sore to say, honestly. Flip the Seafaring Werewolf, okay? Oh, yes, okay, now we have something in the graveyard at least. Would be embarrassing if we had nothing in the graveyard, okay? No card. Uh, I guess we'll return. I mean, it doesn't really do much, but. We'll have it on the battlefield, we'll name. I know he has an instant. I'm not gonna name creature. Because his creature is small, and I know he has an instant. And now he couldn't play it on our creatures, right? Or he has sorcery removal. But I think he has an instant. I mean, he stayed up in 3 mana. Come on! Of course he has an instant. This guy says instant and sorceries. You don't play this guy if you don't have instant sorceries. He probably has an instant. Probably. Probably has an instant. Okay, Dragon Turtle. Okay, that actually works now, because it does that protection creatures, okay? Okay, that's dangerous. That's freaking dangerous. That's freaking dangerous. Okay. Two, three, boy coming down on the ground. Uh, I guess we'll do you and you. And uh, smack in, draw a card. Nice. Maybe we should have done that first, actually. Oh, hmm? demonic bargain. <laughs> I think I know what I want to bargain for. <laughs> Gotta, um... No, 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 you just, yeah, yeah, this, uh, I was confused. This exiles top 13. There's an other card where you exile on, what, what does it say? Like you name a card and you exile until you find that card or something like that? That's not how this works. It's just, it costs 13 cards for a library, which doesn't matter at all. This is pretty good when you have a big library, honestly. Demonic Bargain. Pretty good. Pretty good! Okay. Five manas. Limrith! Oh, we should have named creatures. He does only have creatures. Unfortunately. Or maybe he uh, has, has instant, but he hasn't been able to use them. Possibly. Uh, we don't have green manas, though. Here's maybe what we do. We go in with... Let's see here. Limrith. Uh, and the Seafaring Werewolf. Big damage. Big damage. He's gonna block with Limrith. He's gonna block with Limrith. I don't think he's gonna block with Limrith. We'll be shocked if Limrith blocks. But he might. Now. Limrith is gonna stay. He's gonna smack in. But we block with Vector Glider. Vector Glider is here. And he's square. He's actually square. This guy is here and he's square. It's made out of squares and triangles, okay? Boom, okay, down to six. Draw a card, come on. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Spark double out, pretty good. Okay, we'll name creature. And hopefully we don't win here, because I kind of want to do this, search for a thing and go off. That is, that is a thing we can do, that would be nice. Hopefully as a board wiper. Hopefully. Because I, I don't want to win now. Ah, protection from instant. Oh, sorcery snow! <laughs> We're in trouble now! We are in trouble now! I think he gets us! Do we, 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 we can demonic bargain for a board wipe, right? Uh, yep, that's pretty much what we have to do, but that's actually good, in a way. In a way, that is good. We're gonna uh, also draw a card before we... Well, we unless we exile in there. We have only one for four. Do we have it left? Did it get exiled? There it is. <laughs> okay, pick that up. Smack in for all the two damage that we have here. And... Actually, it's pretty good if these die, these die all snow. Doesn't matter if these die, actually. Uh, we'll smack him with only this. We'll deal the two damage. 
Uh, zero damage, I mean. <laughs> Which means we don't draw a card also. And then we wrap them up. Okay, boing! Good, now that's in the grave also, okay? Yep. Good, good, good. We could just play a Rise of the Dark Realms. Is this... From, this is from all graveyards, by the way. Didn't know. I'm gonna get Limbreth there, maybe. Limbreth. Demilich. Okay. That's scary. Uh, we can't even play it, actually. How is it possible that we can't play it? Uh, let's see here. When he attacks... Uh, XL1, instant the sorcerer from the graveyard, copy it, you may cast the copy, so uh, we're gonna name sorcery, I think. I <laughs> want them to cast that. Right, uh, I think we rise, this costs three life, or we can play it wrong, I don't know how we play this. Return a creature card, return this Serra, we name sorcery, and we put down this, Badoosh. And let's see here. Do we have nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't even have nine now. Okay. Well, we'll wait, I guess. <laughs> thought we had nine. No. Hasn't been that many times. I thought it would get us there. Wow, we we're close to being schnooned. Schnooned, geschnooned. Okay. I can actually just return this from the graveyard, so it doesn't matter. Demolich number doors. Okay, it's heating up. Double Demolich. Okay, does he really know? Okay. So is it coming from Grave? You may cast the copy. Yeah, it doesn't have the manas for that. And it has protection from sorceries. This seems like it will not happen. Ah, uh, that has protection from sorceries. He cannot tap himself if he has manas, but he doesn't even have the manas here. I don't think he's played with the damage. Oh no! Hmm, his hand is slow. But I mean, Kashmina in the spark double? I don't know, if it doesn't have anything early, might get him. If he now plays red, then he plays a creature. I, I can say with 90% certainty that we, we gown. We gown with that, okay? No? No? Okay, that's a blue though, so... Always the risk of uh, canoers. Right here, we have green now. Should be nice. Please don't have anything on two also, that would be amazing. Green usually do though. Nothing, please? Because our hand's really slow. Yes, that is essential. Nothing. Great. Great, 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 great. Opt. Fine. He also has a pretty big library. Just like myself. <laughs> pretty, it's actually pretty big. When you look at it from the right angle, it's actually pretty big. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. But none. And uh, Black Moon 8-4. Gonna be playing something here. Now comes the business. Turn three is the turn that decides everything. Enigma Sage. Okay. You may surrender at any As more planeswalkers, I would assume. And he's just gonna scry here. That also be my guess. Yeah. Scrying? I mean, he gets the eight, he gets the search library for as an instant or sorcery card that's just a color with a planeswalker. With this planeswalker. Exile that card. Okay. So 8 loyalty is a little bit off, but he could get there. Mm, not to distant future, we're gonna definitely activate this ability. Ooh, what do we ship though? I think the Scholar of the... No, we ship the Emeria's Call. Definitely, because we might have to play this, maybe. Probably not, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But now we have Mastermind's acquisition, that is great. Okay, Qualix Cultivator. Okay, so you live from basic forest or island and put it onto the battlefield. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Isn't this just strictly worse though than the four mana artifact? We maybe place that also. What was his face? Oh, he's a 2 2 though. This is 3 4. So that's a little bit better stats actually. Because that thing searches for any basic and you get a draw card and dice. Pretty, pretty nice in my opinion. Okay, it's quiet. Oh, he's close now. Six, okay. He's gonna be able to cast something from his library. Probably has a big, pretty big spell. Pretty big spell. He's gonna be as big as our spell. We don't know that. We don't know that yet. Okay. I will search. Outside the game. Oh, we should have searched in our deck, though. That would have been smart. Oh, well, screw it. <laughs> screw it. Uh, every turn is because of me. Oh, wait, I messed up. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need this in the graveyard, so that thing goes. Uh, no attacks. 
Let's see here. Five. It's only two more mana, so then we just play the scholar and that thing. So that's pretty good, actually. Black Moon 84. He's close now. He just needs to scry one more time. Then he gets to play a big, 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 big spell. A big one. This big of a spell. Is it gonna do it though? Is it gonna go in for Kashmina here, maybe? Kashmina Kashmooners? We can actually just sacrifice this with dust. Doesn't actually matter too much. And then this thing gets smacked, so I don't think so. Oh, he's thinking about clearing my tokens now, but the tokens, they cost a little bit of uh, manas. Look at this. It cost two extra for him to do that. And now he can't really go in, because I'm just block and kill his Quandrix. Or we just Shnoon Kashmina, or at least take, may, make it take one turn more to do things. Could be devastating for him, possibly. Quandrix Cultivator doesn't go in there, okay? Telling. Telling, I say. Uh, we can Yuri in Yuri own. Yuri Dori Dori Don. Can also. Perfect Bronze Blooded. Probably won't do much. We'll put that here. Take away this. Mesh new. And next turn. Uh, no attacks. We'll see what spell he has. He might just win there, honestly, with this. If he has his own Bird of Rejuvenation in the deck. Even this card might be enough to, I don't know, go for the big, we'll see. So have I mean, it has to be minus eight now, okay. Okay, kick your stat, if this spell was kicked, you put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, okay. Joint exploration. Kashmina is going off. Surely going off now. Surely he's not just crying with this now. This is a minus eight. This is the big spell. What spell is it? But there has to be an instant or sorcerer though. No. What? Still time for my plans. How can you not minus eight, sir? How can you do that? Okay. Fine. Very disappointed, but fine. Okay. What? Surely you have a big spell. You have 250 cards. There's no chance you don't have a big spell in there, okay? And I think we also do this before we do anything else. Focus and maybe put... Perforce down there, maybe? And now what happens? Skull of the Lost Troll? This could be huge. This could be absolute... Verdant Rejuvenation, please. Yes. Seven cards. Uh, let's see here. Uh, something to copy. That would probably be the Scholar, actually. Uh, I'm gonna name... Creature. Okay, what did we hit here exactly? <laughs> what, what did we hit? Okay, uh, masterminds. Yes. Gravebreaker Grave army. Okay, that's actually perfect. Uh, I think he conceded there. <laughs> no, no, he's still in there. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, let's see. We need to search for that green card. Where is it? Uh, 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 uh. Bird. Man, if there was a search functionality here. It's kind of expensive, so it should be. Verdant Sun's Avatar, but it's surely more Verdant. Where are they? There they are, okay. Verdant Rejuvenation in the graveyard. Great! Masterminds. Uh, Social Library for a card. Yes. Uh, what do we search for here exactly? I think we search for... Uh... Oh, they have everything. I think we search for... Uh, I, I'm confused. Uh, for a reanimator spell, I was about to say. No, for Scholar. Because then we can just uh, play that thing from the graveyard next up. Depending on what happens here. Okay. Couple of uh, triggers here. And let's see. We can even go in with this. I guess we go in with you and you and... You? Yes? Yeah, yeah, we have protection from creatures also. Forgot about that. So that's a little bit good. But next turn is when it really goes off. If he allows us to actually play this spell, I don't think he's gonna allow us to do that. Okay, Scries? He's still just crying with Kashmina. I don't get it. I don't get it, but if he stays in there, that would be amazing if we get to play the Scholar and just play our entire deck. 
It's gonna stay in. It's gonna stay in. It's gonna stay in. One spell, please. Please stay in. Just one more turn, sir. Just, it's even fine if you have a board wipe. I don't know what that would be, but if you have it, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. You need this color. You need it so much. Okay. Can deal with any of our creatures, so that's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Cornix, man. Not this guy. <laughs> I need this guy. I need this guy. Else it's much less cards. No. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Grey Brick and Lamia, I guess. And uh, whatever you. <laughs> whatever. We don't gotta kill these creatures. Because that might make him scoop. We don't want that. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, Senor. You see, you have subs zero percent. And non subs, a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.